Good evening, good evening, people. Hello, Will. Hello, Edwin. Good evening. Hey, good evening. How is everything? Hello, Luis. Hello, Carlos. Hello, Carla. Good evening. Well, I hope yet that you are <laughs> that you are ready to start with the new with the new class. Hello, Luis. Welcome to the class, buddy. Hello. Hello. Good night. Good evening. Hey, Luis. I hope that you are ready tonight. I mean, you Good did night. the homework, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Okay. Yes, you did the homework. All right. Edwin, what about you? Are you ready? Yes, ready. Ready to start. All right. Oved, what about you? Are you ready? Hello, Oved. Oved, Oved. Are you there? Carlos Jose, are you ready? Yes, I am, teacher. Yes, you're ready. Carla, what about you? Are you ready to start? Well, Carla, Carla is not there. Uh, but I can see that there are some people who are just getting connected. Well, we have a lot of work to do tonight, right? So you're in charge of talking about your typical week like. <laughs> and I have a lot of activities over here. So we have a lot of, a lot of things to do tonight. We have a lot of things to do tonight. Well, let us give some minutes to, to the rest of the people. Okay, let us wait a little bit, like a couple of minutes so that we can start with with everything uh, uh, about present simple. To, tonight, we are going to talk about present simple. So, I hope you have studied and that you have Investigator, investigator about your best friend, typical quick like. Okay, Henry is so here. Wendy, hello, Wendy, welcome. Hello, 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 ladies. Hey, good to hello. see you here. Good night. Hello, hello Carla. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, hello. Good to see you in here. I was just uh, asking if you if you are ready to start with the class tonight. Mm -hmm. More, you said more, more than ready, right? <laughs> okay, now Wendy, hello, Wendy, good to see you here. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay, Henry, are you there, Henry? Hi, teacher. Hi, Henry. How is everything there? Are you having a great time? I hope you're having a great time tonight, okay? I hope that you have prepared some coffee and that you are ready to start tonight. <laughs> okay, we have because we have a lot of work to do. Okay, welcome. <laughs> I have eight people connected and it's time to start, you know. Well, uh first off, you're going to well, you're going to you're going to talk about what's your typical quick like. Okay, that's the first thing we are going to start with. You may say, hey, teacher, but we haven't even start, uh, started about simple present. That's why I told you to investigate about the way to say so, right? To, to talk about daily activities. Okay, so um, let me see. Luis, we, we're going to start with you. What can you tell us about your typical quick life? Don't tell me about your best friend, but about you. Eh, what eh, hay unas cosas teacher que no no las no las no las entiendo muy bien pero eh, sobre sobre la tarea eh, 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 I am eh, eh, la, la tarea yes la yes I am la, la realicé all right so let us know about it about your typical quick life. What's your typical, what do you do on Monday, for example, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday? What do you do on the weekend, uh, during the weekend? During the weekend. 
Um, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, just let us know about the homework. Solo díganos qué es lo que hizo en la tarea. ¿Ok? Yes. Yes, right. I am... Uh, um, uh, I am in, in my name is is a, a profession a, a history a, the day parte de lo de lo del día a día eh, y y la profesión que ejercemos Okay, Luis, that's it. Okay, let us listen to, to let us see, to Edwin. Edwin, what did you get? Did you prepare something uh, quite interesting about uh, the activities you do during the week? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Do me the favor to share it with the rest of the people, please. Only about you. Because later you're going to talk about your best friend, okay? Uh, daily routine. Uh, I get up at uh, 4.25 to shower. The shower that I change, I go to the bus stop. I got about uh, five minutes and go to work. The community take about an or an half, uh, one, one horse. Uh, excuse me. The com community take about an hour and half to work. After uh, a bearing at work, I share a uh, coffee with me college. Until it is time to start work. Once at war, we start with the, my college, colleagues. How do you say colleagues in English? Colleagues. Colleagues. We meet and say a, a private before starting the, the work the work day. After the prior and asking the, the task to each person for the part, I have to coordination and supervisor the staff who are doing their Joe Joe will we wait until night in the morning to rest and have breakfast after the rest time we return to our work again after work hours is the time for lunch after having lunch in the free time I have left in studying English, the finish the launch, chief of the 12 half, we return war again. Uh, we have a long war day until the depot time arrived at 4. 45 in the afternoon. Again, I go to bus, I stop to, to take a return at home. The finish. Fantastic, awesome. Hey Edwin, congratulations. You are taking advantage of uh, this time. I really appreciate that. Uh, Wendy, Wendy, what about you, Wendy? Good evening. Good evening. Well, well, let me see. First, I am going to wake up at 4 a.m. Then, I am going to take a shower. And I brush my teeth. After that, I will go to work all day. Later, I will go back home. I will watch TV for a while and I am going to have dinner. Finally, I will sleep. That's it. Okay, thank you pretty much, Wendy. Excellent. What about you, Carla? Good evening. 
Good evening. Well, my daily routine in my weekend is is uh, I wait up I wait wait up two four twenty three a.m. of Monday to Friday. Always one night before I prepare my clothes and lunch box for the next day. Second, I may I may I make my bed after waking up. Um, waking up well, I take a shower. Um, I get dressed to 5.15 a.m. Then I comb my hair and strike, strike, I don't know how to say it, strike then, strike then it. Uh, I brush my teeth and then I put my, my makeup fast. Then I take my lunch uh, and drive to my job. Um, my work is in Carretera, located in Camalapa High, Highway. I arrive in to the job. I may I make sign mark. Uh, well, I <laughs> to seven at seven o'clock. I mark my assistant. And start in my work. Um, to the 9 a.m., I give give us a break with my college is of 50 minutes. Uh, to 11:45, I I have my lunch is one hour. I return to my work to 12:45 p.m. to start uh, to start to take uh, a coffee to 3:30 p.m. and I finish my work to 5:15 p.m. I go up to home. In my home, I made some some diner and talk with my family and prepare the things to the next day. Uh, I connect to English class to 8 p.m. And after class, I go to the rest. Finish. <laughs> okay, a lot of info. Mm -hmm. That was fantastic. Excellent. Uh, well, <laughs> now let's see. Uh, well, I, I, I just saw Jennifer Rivas and after Jennifer, Esperanza, okay? Okay, Jennifer. And I think, well, you're, you're going to have some more time. Vamos este, a, a empezar con la clase. Ya luego de esas dos participaciones. Y este, pues no se preocupen que ya luego van a tener la oportunidad todos de participar, okay? Okay, Jennifer, and after Jennifer, Esperanza. Well, I don't know if Jennifer is there. Uh, good morning, teacher. Hello, good evening, Jennifer. Dice que yo no le escuché cuando dijo sobre la rutina, pero ahorita yo la estoy elaborando. Okay, Jennifer, okay, so we're going to listen to Esperanza then. Pero sí, se la otra tarea de las profesiones. Uh, 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 about professions and occupation. All right. About the album. Okay. Okay. We're going to listen to. Let me see. To Esperanza, right? Hello, Esperanza. Let us know if you are able to. Okay. Now, yes. Yeah. Good evening. Uh, sería la rutina de la semana. Yes. <laughs> My weekly, my week, weekly routine, uh, get up at four and uh, four 
am uh, first uh, meditation and yoga. Sería. Uh, uh, after or uh, uh, exercise. Uh, Prepare breakfast, uh, take a shower, take my breakfast, go to work, uh, 8 a.m., uh, 12, uh, 12, uh, el almuerzo, <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, the uh, 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 working, uh, return, return home, prepare dinner and eat, uh, watch TV, uh, or, or or play my. Sobrino, no sé cómo se dice. Eh, English class. Y asleep. General. Ok, Esperanza, that was quite good. Hey, I can see that you did a great day for, uh, for doing your homework. Thank you very much. Well, if there is, if there is any other volunteers, so now you can take the time. Otherwise, we're going to start with the class. I mean, with the activities I have. Eh, here. Si hay algún otro voluntario, si no, pues luego le damos el espacio. Okay, so I think it's time to start then. Well, guys, eh, Jennifer, are you ready? No, okay, okay. So let me know when you get ready. Uh, you know what? Well, we're going to start. Okay, I have uh, something over here. Let me see. Well, I think it will be in this link. Um, I think it will be over here. Yeah, it's over here. Uh, well, let me see. We're going to start with this. Okay, I really like to uh, work in that listening. Okay. Uh, well, over here, we're going to talk a little about uh, some um, information. Okay, now, for example, we're going to be exposed to listen to some info over here. We have some mediums like throwing the towel. That's a give up and accept defeat. Example, Jim realized he couldn't continue the race. So he threw in the towel. So there is the first idiom we're going to learn. And the other one is to put on pounds. That is to gain weight. Weight. He's put on a few pounds this past year. So he decided to start joking. Okay, so you see, we have only two expressions. Like the first is, the first is like throw in the towel. Put on put on pounds is to gain weight. Okay, so if you have a translator or a, or a dictionary, you can use it now, right? So this info is important because we're gonna go over this exercise. We're gonna listen to a recording and answer some questions or the questions that are over here. For example, uh, what does the man usually do on Mondays and Wednesdays? So we're gonna get the information about the activities a man usually does on Mondays and on Wednesdays, okay? Exam I have three options, like he plays tennis, he runs, or he does aerobics. That's the first question. You need it to keep it in mind. Now, what's going on to the second one? Before he goes out, 
to exercise he eats breakfast stretches that's push-ups okay be ready with the dictionaries okay because i will ask you about minutes of some uh, of some words over here the man lift weights too okay so okay if you don't know what this means go and look for the meaning people i will ask you improve his endurance lose weight spreading his muscles now improve his endurance lose weight spreading his muscles muscles right the man goes hiking on saturday to visit a friend to get rid of his worry from the week to bond off weight from overeating and what does the man do on Sundays? He relaxes and watches TV. He goes for a walk. He goes swimming. And that's it, right? So if you want, oh, for example, let me see. Let me see. If, let us discuss some vocabulary about this. What does the man do on Saturday? He relaxes and watches TV. He goes for a walk. He goes swimming. You don't, do you have any question about this? Do you need some more some time to look for the meaning of some words? Tengan abiertita la pestaña para buscar información de las palabras o las frases que se nos vienen apareciendo acá. Acuérdense, uh, en un determinado momento yo les voy a preguntar el significado, pronunciación, ¿ok? Ok, now, uh, to burn off weight from overeating. What is burn off? Burn off. Burn off. What is it? What's the meaning? Who got it? ¿Quién obtuvo ya el significado de burnt off? Edwin? Quemar. All Quemado. right. Burnt off what over here? What, what are we talking about in this context? Quemar peso, calorías. All right. Wait. Exactly. Now, what's the meaning of getting rid of? Get rid of. Get rid of. Librarse de, como quitarse, quitarse, quitarse algo. In this case, it's about worries, right? Worry from the week. Worries, worries. Deshacerse. Yeah. All right, thank you, Edwin. The man goes hiking, you know, hiking, right? Go hiking. Hey, what's the meaning of going hiking, people? Senderismo, no sé. Huh? Senderismo. Senderismo. Okay, goes hiking on Saturdays. Okay. Now, improve his endurance. What's the meaning of this? Or... Lift weights. I, I mean, the first one is this, right? Improve his endurance. Resistencia. Ah, okay. Resistencia. Now, lift weights. Mejora su resistencia. Lift weights. Elimino. No, uh -uh. Lift weights. Levantar peso. Levantar peso. Ah, all right. Now, yes, right? So he lifts weights in order to improve his injuries, lose weight, or straighten his muscle. Straighten. Threaten. Entrenar sus músculos. Threaten? <laughs> Sorry, what's threaten? Como fortalecer los músculos. Ah, all right. So now we're talking, right? Fortalecer los músculos. Exactly. Now, we got familiar. Ah, what about before he goes to exercise, he eats breakfast, stretches, you know, stretches? Estirar. Okay. Push ups. What are the famous push ups? Levantar. Okay, the famous push-ups. Push-ups. Okay, All right, so 
Now we're talking. Talking. Now we got familiarized, right? Now, what does the man usually do on Mondays and Wednesday? Play tennis, he runs, he does aerobics. Now we're gonna go over it. We're gonna listen to it. Uh, we already learned some vocabulary. Okay, we practice a little bit. Throw in the towel. Now, now do me the favor, uh, guys. Cierren micrófonos, por favor. Si alguien tiene abierto. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, throw in the towel. Throw in the towel. Now you know that the meaning is give up. I told you the last time, right? Never give up. Remember about that expression, the expression I told you the last time. Now over here is the opposite, right? <laughs> to throw in the towel is to give up, okay? And accept defeat. Put on pounds is to gain weight. So we are more than familiarized then with the with the vocabulary tonight. Hoy sí ya estamos muy familiarizados con el vocabulario, okay? Now we're gonna go over it. Then, this is just to introduce the topic, people. Here we go. Hey, I hear you and Stephanie are really getting serious. Yeah, and I think she'll be impressed with my new exercise program. What? What are you talking about? What exercise program? What did you tell her? Well, you know, I enjoy staying in shape. Right. First, I generally get up every morning at 5.30 a.m. Oh, yeah. Since when? You don't roll out of bed until at least 7.30 p.m. <laughs> no. Oh, no. And on Mondays and oh, Wednesdays, that's another tall tale. I almost always go jogging for about half hour, you know, to improve my endurance. Hey, jogging in the refrigerator for a glass of milk doesn't count. And of course, before I leave, I usually make sure to do some stretches so I don't uh, pull a muscle on my run. Right, one jumping jack. <laughs> and then I told her that I usually lift weights Tuesdays and Thursdays for about an hour after work. Huh. This helps me build muscle strength. Mm, one pound barbell. <laughs> oh, no. And finally, I often go jogging on Saturdays with my dog. What dog? Uh, well, and I like hiking because it helps me burn off stress and reduce anxiety that builds up during the week. Oh, yeah, those lies. No, well, and as for Fridays, I sometimes just relax at home by watching a movie or inviting you over to visit. If I buy the pizza. But, and, I, and on Sundays, I take the day off from exercising, but I usually take my dog for a walk. Forget it. She'll never buy the story. <laughs> All right. Okay. So how was it? You want to listen to it again? A, sec he wrote? A second time? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. All right. So the, 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 these two guys speak really fast, right? So that's why we need to listen to it two or three times. I think a second time would be enough. But let us see. Hey, I hear you and Stephanie are really getting serious. Yeah, and I think she'll be impressed with my new exercise program. What? What are you talking about? What exercise program? What did you tell her? Well, you know, I enjoy staying in shape. Right. First, I generally get up every morning at 5.30 a.m. Oh, yeah. Since when? You don't roll out of bed until at least 7.30 p.m.? <laughs> no, no. And on Mondays and oh, Wednesdays, that's not another tall tale. I almost always go jogging for about half hour, you know, to improve my endurance. Hey, jogging in the refrigerator for a glass of milk doesn't count. And of course, before I leave, I usually make sure to do some stretches so I don't uh, pull a muscle on my run. Right, one jumping jack. <laughs> and then I told her that I usually lift weights Tuesdays and Thursdays for about an hour after work. Huh. This helps me build muscle strength. Mm, one pound barbell. <laughs> oh, no. And finally, I often go jogging on Saturdays with my dog. What dog? Uh, well, and I like hiking because it helps me burn off stress and reduce anxiety that builds up during the week. Oh, yeah, those lies. No, well, and as for Fridays, I sometimes just relax at home by watching a movie or inviting you over to visit. If I buy the pizza. But, and, I, and on Sundays, I take the day off from exercising, but I usually take my dog for a walk. Forget it. She'll never buy this story. Okay, you never buy that, sorry. Okay, now what does the man usually do on Monday, and Wednesday? People, are you ready to answer or do you want to listen to it the third time? Now, what does the man usually do on Monday, and Wednesday, people? He plays tennis. He plays tennis. He runs or he does aerobics. He, he, he plays tennis. 
runs. He runs. He runs. He runs. He runs. He runs. Some people say he plays tennis. Some others say he runs. And I think the majority says he runs. Let's see. Okay, he runs. He runs. Very good. All right. So the second one. Before he goes out to exercise, he eats breakfast, stretches, does push-ups. Does push-ups. Uh, he does push up before going out uh, to exercise. He stretch. He stretches. He stretches. But some, someone say he does push ups. Well, I, I will check this one and then we will see if we it, are. It's, back, it's breakfast. It's so he, break, he eats breakfast? It's breakfast. Yes. breakfast. <laughs> All right, so I will check this one and ah, so he stretches, yeah, right? Stretches. Yes, he stretches. I am. Yeah, don't worry, just keep it in, keep it in mind because we're gonna listen to it again, okay? <laughs> Michael, he says, of course, before I leave, I usually make sure I do some stretches, so I don't put a muscle on my run. Okay, so that's what he said. What Michael says. Now let's go over the next. The man lifts weights to, to do what? To improve his endurance, lose weight, or strengthen his muscles. Uh -huh. Improve his endurance, lose weight, or strengthen his muscles. Not weight. Strain, strain, strain his muscle, strain his muscle, muscle, muscle. Strain his muscles. Strain his muscles. That's that is what you heard. Mm -hmm. Strain his. Are you muscle. sure? Or you? Lose weight. Lose weight. Lose weight. Lose weight. Lose weight. Some people say strain his muscles. Some others say. Lose weight, or what about improving his endurance? Which one, people? Lose ah? which, which one? First, second, or third? Second. Okay, which is second. If you say so, all right. So, si, si lo deciden ustedes, ok. Y ahí luego vamos, miren, lo vamos a escuchar nuevamente y ustedes van a escribir, si nos equivocamos, van a escribir las frases que ellos dicen y le van a prestar especial atención a eso, ok. Now, say lose weight, ok. No, straighten his muscles. Michael said, this helps me to be a muscle strength. Ok. Mas. Uh, okay, let's do something. By uh, copying por ahí eh, eh, las frases estas, okay? Lo que dijeron ellos. Of course, before I leave, I usually uh, make sure mm -hmm. I do some stretches mm -hmm. so I don't put a, a muscle. No, let's do something. I will, I will just put it in the chat. Quiero ver si lo puedo copiar y pegárselos en el chat. Okay, yes. It's all there in the chat, people. Ahí está en el chat. Now let's go over next. Uh, this is the second, right? Day, right? Second is don't worry because we're gonna we're gonna check it in detail. That's the second one. Then the man goes hiking on Saturdays to do what? To visit the friend, to get rid of the of his worry from the week, or to burn tough away from over overeating. All right, so what would be the answer, people? 
to visit a friend to get rid of the, his worries or to point of way to from overeating. Hello, are you there? B. The second one, to get rid of his worries from the week. This one? To get rid of the worries from the week. Okay, so I will do it. Excellent. Michael, finally, <laughs> finally I often go hiking on Saturday with my dog. My dog? Well, and I like hiking because it helps me point off stress and reduce anxiety that builds up during the week. And the last one, people. Hey, what does the man do on Sundays? Hey, he relaxes. He relaxes and goes watch, watch, watch TV. He relaxes and watches TV. No, he nah, goes nah. TV, right? He goes but but uh, on oh, Sundays, well. I take the days <laughs> off from exercising, but I usually <laughs> I take know. my dog for watch a out. walk. <laughs> he goes for a walk. <gasps> my goodness. <laughs> okay, don't worry. <laughs> no se preocupen. Vamos a hacer algo. Vamos a hacer algo. Vamos a hacer algo. Let me see. Para que, lo, para que nos. Let me see. Bye. Vamos a copiar. No, mejor lo vamos a copiar todo. Miren todo el script. Let me see. Michael, I almost go. I almost always go. Ok. Vamos a ver cómo, cómo, cómo armamos esto. Eso es lo primero que aparece acá. Then, the second one. Oh, this is a, of course before I leave I usually uh, this is what Michael says right vayan familiarizándose porque me lo van a leer algunos después que lo oigamos me lo van a leer algunos Okay, that's it. Okay, now now you can see the information there in the chat, right? So we're gonna listen to it, and then when we finish, cuando terminemos de escucharlo, algunos me van a leer lo que he puesto ahí en el chat. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready, people? Ready. Yes. Okay, here we go. Ok, por supuesto ellos van a hablar muy rápido, pero tratemos de, de alguna manera, de, de seguirlos y de escucharlos con atención, la pronunciación, etc. Hey, I hear you and Stephanie are really getting serious. Yeah, and I think she'll be impressed with my new exercise program. What? What are you talking about? What exercise program? What did you tell her? Well, you know, I enjoy staying in shape. Right. First, I generally get up every morning at 5.30 a.m. Oh, yeah. Since when? You don't route a bed until at least 7.30 p.m. <laughs> no, no. And on Mondays and oh, Wednesdays, that's not another tall tale. I almost always go jogging for about half hour, you know, to improve my endurance. Hey, jogging in the refrigerator for a glass of milk doesn't count. And of course, before I leave, I usually make sure to do some stretches so I don't uh, pull a muscle on my run. Right, one jumping and, jack. <laughs> and then I told her that I usually lift weights Tuesdays and Thursdays for about an hour after work. Huh. This helps me build muscle strength. Mm, one pound barbell. <laughs> oh, no. And finally, I often go jogging on Saturdays with my dog. What dog? Uh, well, and I like hiking because it helps me burn off stress and reduce anxiety that builds up during the week. Oh, yeah, those lies. No, well, and as for Fridays, I sometimes just relax at home by watching a movie or inviting you over to visit. If I buy the pizza. But, and, I, and on Sundays, I take the day off from exercising, but I usually take my dog for a walk. Forget it. She'll never buy the story. All right. Now, let me see. Who who wants to help me to read this part, people? 
that's really i mean the way the way you who wants to read that part ¿Cómo se lee? yeah please I, al I almost, I almost always go joying for about a half hour, oh, uh, hour, yeah. hour, you know, to improve my endurance. Good, improve, improve, jogging, jogging, improve. Jogging. Thank you. What about second part? ¿Quién me ayuda con la segunda parte? O la, la segunda frase acá. Oops, sorry. Let me see. So here. Of course, before I, I live in, I usually make sure I do some stretch so I don't fall. I'm mostly on my room. Okay. Of course, before I live, I usually make sure I do some stretches. So I don't put a muscle, muscle on my run. Muscle. All right. Thank you, Edwin. Who helps me with the third one? Anybody in the group? Can somebody help me over here with this uh, short expression? No. This helps me, this helps me build muscular strength. Thank you, Esperanto. This helps me build muscle strength. Muscle strength. All right. We're almost done. We're going to start with the topic tonight. Don't worry. This, this is just to introduce uh, the simple person over here. Now, can, it, can somebody in the group help me with the last part? Finally, I often go to hike on Saturday with my dog. Why dog? Well, and I like hiking because it helps me burn off the stress and reduce tension that build um, during the week. Fantastic. Very good. Burn off stress and reduce anxiety. All right, people. Well, I think it's been enough with it, ¿ok? Ha sido suficiente con el listening para, para esta noche. Ok, vamos con, con otra cosa. Pero antes de eso, let me see. ¿Qué aprendimos de esta actividad? Eh, ¿Quién me dice qué aprendimos de esto? La rutina, okay. la rutina de, de la semana. We learn some about some activities people usually do during the week. If, if, for example, for example, exercise. I, okay, exercise. What else? Take a breakfast. I take breakfast. Some vocabulary such as taking breakfast. Good. What else? Investigamos vocabulario. Ok, eso es importante. Miren, que no, que no digamos, ah, bueno, ya encontré la palabra. Ya, ya sé lo que es, lo que significa. Pero ya mañana, si les vuelvo a preguntar, pues no, no sabemos si, si se lo habrán aprendido, sí o no. Pues yo quiero que sí se lo hayan aprendido. Ok. Que no solo las vayamos pasando y, ah, ahora sí, ya sé qué significa. Bueno, ya mañana, pues son otras y, no, que cada palabra que, es, que sea significativa, ¿ok? Ok, so, well, I think... Teacher, it's no, no, no va a compartir ese, ese enlace. Sure, en, sure, en el, Edwin. Okay. Actually, está en el libro, pero igual, se lo voy a compartir acá en el, en el chat. Ahí lo tienen en el chat, ¿ok? Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Ok, I will stop sharing. Voy a dejar de compartir. Vamos a ir con el libro, ¿ok? Ahora sí. Well, ahora que ya nos familiarizamos con presente simple, 
Ahora sí vamos con daily routines. Si ustedes se fijan, prácticamente lo que ustedes han hecho es ir, investigar cómo se dicen las cosas, las frases, etcétera. Pero no hemos visto la, no hemos visto la gramática, ¿ok? Eh, ¿Cómo se usa en realidad la, la, las oraciones, verdad, en presente simple? How to use simple present, and this is la, uh, uh, well, the, there is not enough info in here, but I will try to do my best over here. Uh, you know, we have affirmative statements. We have negative statements. ¿Se recuerdan cuando estudiamos el verbo be? El verbo to be. Yo les dije, siempre, en todos los tiempos, vamos a tener oraciones afirmativas, oraciones negativas, preguntas de sí o no, preguntas abiertas. O sea, eso se mantiene. En todos los tiempos siempre vamos a encontrar esas estructuras. ¿Ok? Positiva, negativa. Eh, preguntas cerradas de sí o no, preguntas abiertas, eh, etc. Ahora, take a look at this. She said, we keep track on the financial account. Ok, I keep track on the financial account. Okay, what is the meaning of this expression, people? Keep track. Keep track of. What's the meaning of it? ¿Quién me dice lo que, lo que tenemos aquí? Seguir la pista. All right. About what? Financial account. Now, this is only one, one verb. The verb keep, the verb know, the verb advertise, the verb, the verb help. Okay. And we are just using first person singular. Okay. And now that we have I, you, we, and they. We're not using third person singular people over here so far. Well, I think we're gonna we're gonna do it later. We're gonna do it later. Okay, over here we're using. Remember that we have I, you, he, she, it, we, you again, and they. Okay, this is song practically. Los lo subject pronouns, ¿se acuerdan? Y yo les dije que esto se llama tercera persona. Eh, quiero ver. Oh, sorry. Eh, he, she, it is called third person singular. Y si ustedes se fijan acá, el libro todavía no nos lo va a presentar estas tres. ¿ve? Solo nos está presentando I, you, and they. Esas tres nos está presentando. I, you, and they. Nos hace falta cuál? He, she, it. Y nos hace falta she. we. Ok. Pero esta he, she, it, le vamos a llamar tercera persona singular. Third person singular. Ok. ¿Por qué se lo digo? Porque si yo, por ejemplo, quiero conjugar el verbo keep. Aquí ya no va a ser keep, sino que va a ser keeps. He keeps. Ah, y si es negativo, teacher, ah, si es negativo, entonces, he doesn't keep, he doesn't, oops, sorry, yeah, yeah, he doesn't keep. Va, eso, eso lo van a ver un poquito más a detalle luego, lo, lo mismo acá, si yo digo no, she knows, she knows, y si lo quiero hacer negativo, teacher, she doesn't know, she doesn't, she doesn't know, she doesn't know, but about it, it helps, it helps, <clears throat> negative form, it doesn't help, it doesn't help, okay, but listen, I'm just telling you in advance, right? So what's coming soon? Ya le estoy diciendo, me estoy adelantando un poquito. 
porque quiero que ustedes siempre tengan en cuenta que con tercera persona, en, en muchos eh, tenses, en muchos tiempos en inglés, siempre van a sufrir como cierto, van a ser, van a haber detalles, ¿ok? Un poco diferentes al resto. Pero si yo digo, I keep, you keep, he keeps. Miren, le agregué una S. Eh, si yo digo, I know, you know, she knows. Lleva una S. Pero cuando yo lo hago negativo y tengo este, doesn't, el verbo regresa, miren, ya no tiene la S. She doesn't know, lo mismo. It doesn't help, lo mismo. ¿Ok? So, well, keep it in mind. Teacher, uh, teacher está compartiendo la pantalla, ¿no? Yeah, give me one second, please. Oh, I'm sorry, it was my fault. Okay, so this is what this is what you what you have. Sorry, sorry, lo siento. So this is actually what what you have. Okay, so when we have he, she, or it, something else changes. Algo cambia cuando tenemos tercera persona. He, she, or it. Well, I have affirmative statements. I keep track of the financial account. Miren. I keep. Para hacerlo negativo, sencillo. I don't keep. I don't keep. And that's it. I keep, I don't keep. Okay, positivo, she know. She know the policies. Negative statement, she don't know. She don't know. I know, I don't know. You know, you don't know. We advertise, we don't advertise. Don't. Negative, we have, we have affirmative and negative. They help, they don't help. And that's it. This is actually, this is actually the, the simple present tense, okay, with affirmative and negative statements. Now, just to make some review, because it was my fault. Okay, les decía, haciendo así un repaso rapidito. Miren, acá tenemos los subject pronouns, ¿verdad? I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. ¿Ok? Y siempre a he, she, it. Eso le vamos a llevar ter tercera persona. He puede ser este Edwin. ¿Ok? El pronombre para Edwin es he. He keeps. She puede ser um, let me see uh, Denise. Say Denise or she. It can be a dog puede ser un perrito, puede ser un objeto. Ok, eso es tercera persona singular. Eh, y yo les decía que se fueran fijando en, los, en cómo se van formando presente simple en tercera persona. Pero eh, vamos a ver primero cómo hacemos con estas oraciones. Dice un, unscramble, right? Dice que uns, unscramble. Ordenemos las oraciones con las palabras que nos dan, usando presente simple. Por ejemplo, eh, keep the company's track financial accounts up. Ok. Help me please to complete it. Ayúdenme por favor a completarlo. Escríbanlo en el chat. Y yo lo copio y lo pego. Okay, I'm, I'm waiting for, waiting for.
Hello, everybody. Okay, I got two. They keep track of financial accounts company. That's what. Okay, Carla, they, they companies keep track. Ooh, let me see. I think it makes sense, this one. They keep track of financial accounts company. Okay, this is the correct one. Okay, period. Thank you very much, uh, Wendy. What about number two, people? Don't on internet that company advertise. We. Hello, hello. Hello there, are you there? Don't, don't on internet the company advertise we. We don't under, adver, advertise the company on the internet. Okay. We don't advertise the company on the internet. Good. Period, right? Okay, number three. I every day knows in the meeting take. I take. Okay, Elenilson, say it and type it in the okay in the chat. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, Wendy, I'm sorry. This time you are not right. Uh uh, Wendy. Is the second, sorry. <laughs> okay, so it makes sense now, right? Yeah. Let's say, I take notes every day in a meeting. Okay, you can also say like, every day I take notes in the meeting. But this is all right. Thank you, Carla. I think Carla, you did it, right? No, it was, yeah, it was, yeah, it was Carla, right? Good. Good, people. Now, it seems as if it is not that easy, right? Now, what about number four? At the reception, Carlos and Mauricio phone answer.
Pretty good. Pretty good, Wendy, and also Carlos, right? No, no, that was Esperanza and Denise. Very good. Thank you for doing your best. Also, Ellen Nilsson. Excellent. Now, now that, that we have this, okay, let's see. Now that we have this information, let us go over this part, okay? What are we going to do in here, people? Well, tonight we're gonna work in pairs, okay? We're going to work in pairs. Um, vamos a trabajar en parejas. Ahora, fíjense bien. Tenemos una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete participaciones. Ok, siete. Entonces, a esas siete, solo le vamos a agregar dos participaciones más. Ok, o sea, vamos a trabajar. Carlos de Mauricio. Ok, thank you, Luis. Good. Vale, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Si ustedes gustan, pueden tomar esta conversación eh, de ejemplo. ¿Ok? Si no les parece, entonces crean una conversación ustedes. ¿Ok? Pero, ¿qué es lo que van a colocar ahí? Va, ya vimos cómo hacer oraciones positivas, negativas. Ya les expliqué. Bueno, ya hicimos un listening. Ya nos familiarizamos con las actividades. ¿Ok? Ahora nos toca crear algo. Ok, crear algo, ok, relacionado a lo que nosotros hacemos, ok, durante la semana. Ya ustedes ya lo presentaron, algunos de ustedes ya lo presentaron. Ahora quiero que lo interactuemos en pareja. Ok, van a crear, si ustedes gustan, pues pueden copiar la, 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 la conversación, hacerle los arreglos que ustedes quieran, ok. O pueden crear una nueva conversación. O buscar otra en internet. No hay problema. Pero necesito que la practiquen. Muy bien. Que hagan. Miren, aquí en tercera persona. Me interesa mucho que se fijen. Que hay unos cambios. ¿Verdad? She makes. She writes. Uh, ok. She sings. En caso vayan a ocupar tercera persona. Ok. En, en el caso que lo vayan a ocupar. Uh, porque en realidad eso, miren, lo vamos a ver, si Dios permite, lo, por lo menos lo vamos a tratar de introducir ahora, con tercera persona. Mientras tanto, eh, van a trabajar en parejas, ok, creo que va, va a haber alguien que va a trabajar en un grupo de tres, para generar una conversación con la información que buscaron de su tarea, ok. Esta está en la página 21. 21. Ok. ¿Es clear? ¿Está claro? Yes, teacher. Yeah, all right. So, in purse. In purse. Let me see. It's nine o'clock. Okay, I, give, I will give you, uh, I think, 15. No, 15. Yeah, 15 minutes, ok? 15, 15 to 20. De 15 a 20 minutos van a tener para que hagan una, una conversación, ok? Muy, muy, muy buena, que generen una muy buena conversación y que investiguen todo lo que ustedes quieran. Pronunciación, significado de palabras eh, y que, por supuesto, traten en la medida de que sea posible eh, que suene de manera natural, ok? de manera natural esa conversación y le voy a solicitar que no la lean. Are you ready? Ready. Ready. All right. So let us create the groups in. I have. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Working purse.
Okay, remember you have 15 minutes, people. Pero sería conversación de tres entonces. Pues. Sí. Quedamos en el grupo de tres. Ajá, uh -huh. quedamos en el grupo de tres. Ahí ya se complica más. Porque no sé cómo hacemos la oración. Eh... <coughs> Sería hablar acerca de nuestra daily routine. La daily routine. Él dijo que podíamos utilizar la que estaba de ejemplo. Uh -huh. No sé si utilizamos esa o buscamos una. Uh -huh. La cuestión es que esta la tenemos que hacer de tres. Uh -huh. Y, y qué bueno por ello pues ahí estamos igual tratando de aprender como dijiste bastante difícil sin embargo no imposible si le echamos ganas bueno entonces trabajemos en la actividad uh, para crear la conversación yes eh, well eh... Thank you. Uh, you, yeah. uh, you uh, 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 what it work? Uh, that... um, si gusta, vemos el ejemplo, porque ahí habla, o sea, el, el que está charlando, dice que tiene muchas cosas que hacer durante la semana y eso fue lo que pidió el teacher. Muchas cosas que hacer durante la semana. Así dice la conversación. Entonces, veamos si, si querés y nos organizamos ahí para. Podemos, como él decía, tomar el ejemplo, que el ejemplo comienza ahí. Good morning. Bueno, ahí dice Good, good, good morning, Cindy. How are you? Y luego eh, responde y ella es la que dice que tiene muchas cosas que hacer durante la semana. Pero. Buenos días. Eh, my name is. Ah, pero. My name is. Está muy my name is... Ok. ¿Tu nombre? Giovanni. Yes. Giovanni. Bueno, entonces, si gustas, comienzo, comienzo yo. Vamos a tomar el ejemplo porque no se me viene nada a la mente ahorita. Um, sería, en este caso, ¿cómo dijiste tu nombre? Your name. Eh, your name. Eh, 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 Luis eh, Reyes. Ah, Luis okay. Reyes. En... Si gusta, creamos la conversación entonces para, para manejar la idea. Bye.
como sí, dije, vale. podemos ocupar el ejemplo y, y good, el ejemplo. Good, good morning, eh, Giovanni. Eh, esta semana, esta semana nos, nos tocaría aprender mucho, aprender mucho. No sé si te parece agarrar como un poco el ejemplo de lo que estamos haciendo. Uh -huh. eh, no sé si te parece que lo pongamos así, que, eh, que estamos haciendo un diálogo acerca de lo que nos, nos cuesta ahorita entender, bueno, lo personal, y, y qué que, 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 que esperamos obtener en esta semana. No sé si le parece. Bien, veamos cómo le damos forma entonces. Ahorita. Vaya. Buenos días, Giovanni. Good morning, Giovanni. Eh, esta semana... Esta semana lo voy a crear aquí. Esta semana va. Good morning, eh, Giovanni. This week. This week. Eh, sería esta semana. Espero. Espero sea de mucho. The other days. On one day, she sent some email to the, the bookkeeper. And on Friday. She around meeting. She saw bossy boss um on weekend. Hasta ahí terminaríamos. ¿verdad? Sí. Y luego. Okay. <laughs> ahí, te, ahí tendría que agregar. No, ahí tendría que agregar una frase. Va, Como voy a ver aquí que le... qué hace los fines de semana. Ya. Correcto, voy a ver aquí que le agregamos. Vale, listo. Ya está tomando esta pita de mejor cuadro. Los calzones, las calcetas, eso. Voy a poner aquí a esa pregunta. Yes, I am. Recibe un English flash. Y ahí creo que finalizaríamos. O le agregamos sí. otra más. Eh, yo tendría que agregarle después de la de la de la suya. Una más. Va. Entonces lo voy a poner aquí, permítanme. Uh -huh. ¿Qué? Ya esto. Espérame que esta cosa se me ha ido limpio. <risa> dice el, pri la primer párrafo, el primer párrafo que yo voy a decir: Dice, Good morning, buenos días, Cindy, ¿cómo estás? Le voy a preguntar a usted. Yo a usted. Yo le voy a contestar. Eh, espera, que ya me salí de ti. Vaya, yo le voy a contestar. Eh, ya no es verdad. Real y Wo y Skati, así. Hola. Hola. Hola.
Hello, hola. Jessica. Hello, hello. Hola, hola. Hello. No, I'm sorry. Creo que eh, la otra persona salió. Creo que están teniendo problemas con, con Zoom. Algunos los ha sacado. Sí. A mí me sacó varias veces también. Pero gracias a Dios logró meterse nuevamente. Pero me quiero ver. Estaba trabajando con quién? Jenny. Con Jenny. Sí. sí, todavía no se ha unido Jenny. Mientras Jenny, mientras Jenny um, trate de, de enlazarse, cuando ella se enlace, yo la voy a incluir acá. Mientras ella se eh, logra, logra ingresar, termine usted las ideas que tenían planteadas, por favor. Vaya. Okay, aquí está ya, creo yo. No. Sí, acá está ya Jennifer. Ok, so let's continue mm. working, uh, please. Ahí está. Hola. Oh, hola. Eh, no, um, se, se me había desconectado esto. Estaba mal en internet. Que la perdí, dije. ¿Me escucho? Sí, sí la escucho bien. No sé si estamos ya de un solo todos en el grupo, teacher. No, 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 Jennifer. Solo nosotros dos. Sí, ahorita Solo... todavía, están, todavía están en parejas. Amba. Ah, ok. Vaya. Eh... Hola. Hola. Que le escucho bien cortante, casi no le entiendo. Pero fíjese que yo tengo buena señal. ¿De qué? Entonces, como practicamos. que mi diálogo es algo largo. Algo larguito, ¿verdad? Si quieres resúmalo un poquito, está bien largo. Me nos pone 10. No, que, 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 que. ¿Qué realizará en su, en su trabajo? Uh -huh. Así sería la pregunta también. Uh -huh. ¿Qué realizará en su trabajo? En su trabajo. Trabajo. Y cierre la, la, la pregunta. La pregunta va. Dice: God, God, Job, Giovanni, eh, and Tag. Will you do at work this week? Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Qué Vaya. dice? ¿Qué bien, qué bien, Giovanni. Qué bien, qué bien, Giovanni. Ajá. Qué bien, Giovanni. Después de su respuesta, va. Y esta uh -huh. semana, ¿qué, realiz ¿qué realizará en su trabajo? Ya viene ahí su respuesta, va. Uh -huh. Listo, después. Va, ahorita va. Sería respuesta. Este es el área de respuesta. Vaya, suya. Quizá te lo. Lo voy a decir para que le, le des como un seguimiento. ¿Aquí? Por ejemplo, a, ajá, esta semana. No, vaya, ahorita, espérame, espérame. Dilo. Vaya, este, esta semana, semana trabajaré en ocho comunidades con iglesia y comunidad, comunidad con líderes de iglesia y comunidad. Comunidades con la iglesia. Con, con líderes de iglesia y comunidad. Um, no, ah, perdón, entonces sería, esta semana trabajaré con ocho comunidades. Con ocho, en ocho, en ocho comunidades. Ah, en ocho comunidades. Comunidad. Con líderes de iglesia y comunidad. 
con líderes de iglesia y comunidad, comunidad, comunidad. Listo, aquí está, this week, this week, eh, and we work in Oak, Ignite, common, common it, eh, no sé cómo se pronuncia, with, Purge and Cognitive. Cognitive. Ahí está la comunidad. Cognitive dice. De leaders. Con los líderes. Entonces, es, eso, eso va a poner como respuesta. Sí. Vale, líderes. Listo. This week. Lo voy a escribir a la vieja escuela. Ajá. Yo creo que fue la mejor ahorita en el sentido así va. Te mantiene más despierto. Está va. Cuesta, pero yo sé que vamos a aprender. Ah, <ríe> yo hoy ah, bien me gusta improvisar. Ah, bueno. <ríe> Work. Ok, hello Henry and Luis. Do you need some more time? Necesitan un poco más de tiempo. Yes, teacher. Uh, uh, yes. Alrededor de cuántos tiempo? ¿Unos cinco minutos? Mm, yes. Ok, so five minutes more. Le voy a avisar a los demás, ¿ok? Yes. Vaya. Entonces, recomendaré con los líderes. Eh, wait at work. A good plan. Let's, let's, ¿qué dice al final? I'm let's sorry go. to interrupt. Let's go. <laughs> Lo siento por interrumpirle. ¿Será que necesitan un poquito más de tiempo? Yes. <laughs> ¿Cinco minutos está bien? Cinco minutos. Sí, cinco minutos. Sí. Ok, five minutes, okay. Soy yo o estamos hablando de un hombre también. Así estoy viendo que hay un hombre ahí. Ay, no. Entonces, ¿cómo le cambiamos? Al final. Vas. Esperanza sí. en Edwin, I'm sorry to interrupt. Eh, you have five minutes more, ¿ok? Cinco minutos más e iniciamos, ¿ok? okay. De acuerdo. Bueno, entonces es lo último. Jessica y Jennifer, uh, sorry to interrupt, but we only have five minutes. Yeah, five minutes more. No, usted va a hacer las primeras, ¿ok? Ay, no, tío. No. Este, tienen cinco minutos más y ya luego pues entramos a la sala general, ¿ok? Bueno, teacher, gracias. Ok. De... Ay, ya no va a tocar. Last... Party last night. Well, I really wanted to go, but uniform, unfortunately, unfortunately, I was out of the of town. Oh, we unfortunately, had a great night. Unfortunately, but a barbecue party at Karen House. We enjoyed the food and also had. To prepare the yeah, everything was <clears throat> well, absolutely delicious. What's it? Wasn't it? Monica, Monica, Wendy, Wendy. Damn it. Uh, sure, <laughs> but don't forget that music was awesome. <laughs> we danced all night long. <laughs> It's real shame. I couldn't go. And did you 
by any change, see Paul. We are do asking that. Actually, I want to know if he went to the party with Rose. I am not quite sure if I saw him, but what about going to our house to see the picture of the party so that you find that out? Okay. Well, I saw that you were that you were working really hard. Okay, I I saw it. Hey, unfortunately, people had problems with or had problems with with Zoom tonight. Hoy no dio otra vez problema Zoom. Okay, se salieron algunos. Bueno, lo sacó Zoom algunos. Esperemos tal vez se, se logran reintegrar. Uh, cuando eso cuando eso suceda, notifiquen en el chat para que a las personas que están llevando el registro de, su, de sus minutos puedan verificar de que no es no fue este culpa de ustedes sino que más bien el problema de internet o de la plataforma ok uh, let me see bueno ya los vi trabajando ya sé que están listos lo que me dijeron que querían ser los últimos los últimos serán los primeros dicen por ahí Nada, vamos a ir en orden, así como están las salas. Ok, so Gabriela, Carla, and Wendy. You start. Ya podemos iniciar. Yeah, you can start now. Yeah. Hi guys, how how is going? Hi, Carla. Pretty good. Hello, Carla. W what are you doing? We did not see you at the last party night. Well, I really wanted to go, but um, unfortunately, I was out of town. Oh, we had a great time. It was a barbecue party at Karen's house. We enjoy the pool and also help to prepare the ribs. Yeah, everything was absolute delicious. What is? Sure, but don't forget the music. It was awesome. We danced all night long. It's real shame. I couldn't go and did you by any chance support? The are you asking Tark? Actually, I want to to know if he want the party with Rose. Mm, I am not quite sure if I saw him, but what about going to our house to see the picture of the party so that you find that out. Sounds like a good plan. Let's go. Let's go. Go. Okay, quite good. Excellent. <laughs> Pretty good. Quite good. Hey, you, you are very creative. You're very creative. You started looking for information in the internet. Uh, well, you, you use all the tools that you have. Usaron todas las herramientas para crear su conversación, creo. El internet. <laughs> Uh, etc. Algún um, dictionary or, or I don't know, but it was quite good. I, I could Google Translator you. nos ayuda. Okay, Google Translator also. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Hey, group number two, Henry and Luis. Hey, good night. Hey. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning, uh, Giovanni. Well, all out love this day, this week ahead. Uh, hi, Liz. I am fine. I have mm, many things to, to do this week, but I am very 
Bussi. Bussi. This week, eh, 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 very well, a eh, see a tall tip of work is this young push. It is very. It is very uh, interesting to this talk. And this week, what is hate? Uh, this week, I will work in a community communities with sure and community, community leaders. I will work in training leader on my Nayer, uh, you use an organization. Uh, thanks, good, Giovanni. Uh, have a good day. <laughs> okay, thank <laughs> you. Thank you, Dave. That's what I told you at the beginning, right? I need a perfect effort, ¿ok? That's what I'm looking for. Siempre voy a buscar el esfuerzo perfecto, ¿ok? Quizás algunas cositas, especialmente Luis, que se nos acaba de, de unir, ¿ok? No, no, no os preocupéis, que ya pronto, pronto vamos a engranar, ¿ok? No os preocupéis. Esto es así, no se preocupen, Luis y Henry, ¿ok? De hecho, los felicito, ¿por qué? Yo los estuve viendo así, eh, trabajando aparte y ahí estuve escuchando cómo ustedes coordinaron para hacer la conversación. Congratulations, ¿ok? Let's keep working hard. Mantengámonos trabajando arduamente, ¿ok? Uh, let me see, I have... Um, good. Ok, couple number three, that's Edwin and Esperanza, all right. Uh, good evening, Edwin. How are you? Hello, Edwin. Are you there? Edwin. Edwin. <laughs> hello, hello. Well, let us work with, let us give him some time, Esperanza, okay? Vamos a trabajar con Jennifer y Jessica. Mientras eh, Edwin logra... Edwin, are you there? Yes, ready. Ah, okay, so ready. So Esperanza, now yes. Esperanza y Edwin. Tenía problema ahí con una con la conexión, me había sacado. Okay. De hecho se me desalentó la cámara también. Esta noche sí que nos ha costado con, <laughs> con la plataforma, pero It's, it's ready. Okay, we're ready. Go go ahead, Esperanza y Edwin. Okay. Uh, good evening, Edwin. How are you? I am fine. I have many things to do this week, but Katie is very busy. Really? Who is Katie? The new secretary. Her shoulder is very keen. On Monday, she made many phone calls later. She write report about the production. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some email to the bookkeeper, and on Friday, some are run many. She saw boss bossy and on weekend. If she visit her family in Canada. Oh, excellent. Uh, nice to meet you, Edwin. Nice to Bye. meet you too. Bye. See you later. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Pretty good. <laughs> now, I, now, I, yo creo que ahora, ahora, a estas alturas, quiero ver, ya la segunda semana, ya creo que ustedes y yo nos admiramos de que en un corto tiempo, pues ya ustedes hacen sus conversaciones, ¿verdad? Ya eso es, es de aplaudirles, la verdad. Ok, now let's see. Eh, 
Jennifer and Jessica. Ya, yeah, Denise, hey. lo siento, Denise. Sé que, sé que eh, pues no pudo estar en toda la reunión porque la sacó eh, la plataforma, pero pues de igual manera, Denise, usted puede revisar la grabación de la clase, pues eh, mañana o pues en algún momento que usted tenga disponibilidad de tiempo, ¿ok? Ok, so let us listen to Jennifer and Jessica. Eh, teacher, de, yo le hacía una pregunta. Eh, nosotros agarramos la, la, la conversación que está en, en, en el libro. No sé si habrá problema por eso. No, you can, you no. can do it. No problem, Jessica. Ok. Si sí, se escucha algo así como nerviosa, porque aquí donde yo vivo hace mucho frío, entonces te, estoy afuera y tengo frío, ¿verdad? Vaya, dice... Good morning, good morning, Cindy. How are you? I I had I I had many things week, but really is every week. Uh, reality reality world is Katy. Sí, Mel Secretary er It's very big on Monday. He make many on school level. He dry record and three solution. And what do she do? Train or die? On Wednesday, we send some mail, mail to three good people and find the right meaning. She is so, so who's who, voice and on what? What? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank All you. All right. Uh, well, uh, I, I will continue. Okay. We will continue talking uh, about present simple. And now, yes, we're going to go over the third person singular. Okay. As you can see, the information that's presented here. Uh, teacher. Hello. Este, fíjese que eh, estaba anotando en el chat de WhatsApp que eh, eso mismo me sucedió a mí eh, en, quiero ver, hace como tres días que me conecté y solo aparecía un compañero, Edwin, y yo conectados. De pronto ya solo yo estaba conectado y así permanecí bastante tiempo. Sí, este, algunas veces, pues, como les repito, falla pues la conexión o ya sea la plataforma en ocasiones falla o pues algunas veces es el internet también que nos puede fallar. Y este, cuando le suceda eso, pues ustedes traten de ingresar nuevamente y pues colocan un mensajito ahí en el grupo para que las personas que llevan el récord de ustedes pues noten que pues ha sido por una falla técnica, ¿ok? Yes, 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 teacher. All right. So this is the conversation, right? This is the conversation. Hey, good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week. But Katie is very busy. Los, los está escuchando y algunos de ustedes dicen busy. O si mal no recuerdo, pues, pero sí creo que han estado pronunciando mal esta palabra. Busy. Okay, busy. 
Uh, let me see. Uh, really? Who's Katie? Uh, the new secretary, her schedule, schedule is very tight, tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Lately, she, she writes reports about the production. 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 Let me see. No. Teacher, tell me. Uh, ¿Cómo dijo que se pronuncia la palabra que está después de the new secretary? Her schedule. 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 I schedule. 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 In Yo the... pensé que era schedule. <laughs> yeah, now that okay, so that's why I will I will I will let you know about some observations I could notice tonight. <clears throat> Production and what does she what does she do the other days? On Wednesday she sends some emails, the bookkeeper, and on Friday she arranges meetings, arranges. So she's so busy and on weekends. And on weekends? That's it, right? Well, not you know, right? This is going to be homework for tomorrow. Esto va a ser tarea para mañana, okay? Leer la conversación de nuevo, pero fíjense bien. Eh, se la van a la van a practicar y van a investigar todas las palabras que ustedes consideren tienen dificultades. ¿Ok? Porque mañana vamos a hacer un repaso. Especialmente, pues, quiero que se fijen en, en, los, en las terceras personas. Ahí las palabras que están remarcadas es por algo, es presente simple, perdón, es presente simple, pero en tercera persona. ¿Ok? So, van a resolver esta actividad. Eh, van a resolver estas dos actividades de la página 21. And oh, here is where I, I need to go over a, a couple of minutes. Uh, en esto quiero pues, invertir un poco de tiempo para que veamos esto de la tercera persona. He, she, it, as I told you, right? A third person singular. And as you notice over here, we have a third person in the verb. I mean, the verb, the, the, the way we uh, conjugate the verb is, is in this way, right? So she makes, he carries, in the sense, it helps, uh, my boss talks, okay? So this is third person singular. Over here, third person singular also, but in the negative form, doesn't make, doesn't carry, uh, doesn't sing, doesn't help, doesn't talk, okay? So we have affirmative statements, the person singular, and we also have uh, negative statements uh, in third person singular. Now, there are some other rules, hay otras reglas, que a esto va un poquito más amplio, y de hecho le voy a pedir que consigan una PowerPoint de presente simple. Ok. Presente simple. PowerPoint. Uh, ustedes pueden bajar alguna PowerPoint en, en el internet. Ok. Acerca de affirmative. Uh, I mean, hace, acerca de esto de manera general. Miren esto. Simple present. Entonces usted va a internet, a Google, y usted pone eso y pone... PowerPoint presentation. Y ahí le va a dar algunas opciones. Lo estudian y le voy a pedir a dos de ustedes mañana que nos presenten esa PowerPoint. ¿Ok? ¿Está right? Eh, yes, I'm right. Eh, teacher, eh, este, 
Fíjese que yo eh, me he estado metiendo a lo que es eh, en el correo, pero no me aparece eh, lo que es el libro, porque ah. me, me, me he matado buscándolo y no me aparece. Entonces, este. no sé si podrían compartirlo en el chat o, o en WhatsApp para sí, sí. Eh, estudiarlo mañana. Ok, con gusto. En mi tiempo libre para, para ponerme más al corriente. Gracias, thank okay. you. Ok, ok. Eso así me aparecía a mí también, teacher, pero en, en el correo solo aparecen seis páginas, pero creo que hay que abrir un link, o, o, no más me recuerdo ahí, y ahí es donde nos aparece completo ya todo el libro, porque solo en, en, la, en la que nos enviaron aparecen seis páginas nada más. Pero sí. voy a ver si me meto ahorita para, para eh, explicarle al compañero ahí cómo, cómo lo tiene que abrir. Se lo voy a agradecer, Edwin. De hecho, ahorita acabo de compartir el, el, el documento, que creo que ese sí está completo, sí. Thank ese you, sí. Edwin. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. okay, you're welcome. Now, just to finish, people, let us try to finish tonight. Para como estamos hablando de tercera persona, que este es el verbo que necesitamos conjugar. Mire. Si yo digo he, he what? Order is the verb. What would be the way in third person singular? He or orders. Orders. All right. And I really like you to um to make emphasis in that is sound. Okay? Because that is quite important. He orders everything in the office. Helen, not call. Not calls. Yeah, no, no, yeah, uh, uh, no, but take a look Helen at over here. Doesn't, 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 right. doesn't call. Doesn't, doesn't call. Doesn't call. Doesn't call. But here's Como ya tenemos el, el auxiliar das y no, el verbo regresa a su forma base. Miren. Ya no se le pone la S ahí. Ok, let us try with, the, with, the, with this two. Amy and T Teresa. <clears throat> Amy and Teresa. For signature series Ask. right. With an S, right? Okay. Asks. For signatures every Friday. On the other hand, we have she clean our desk in the morning. Clean flames. Okay, she clean. cleans. All right, pretty good. Cleans. She cleans our desk in the mornings. Good. Then let's go over it. Uh, over here, I. Ah, that's excellent observation. She cleans. Fíjense que hemos cometido un error. Eso está bien. She cleans, tercera persona. Acuérdense que el verbo, como es positiva, miren. El verbo en tercera persona va a sufrir un cambio. Es. Ya, por lo menos carry termina en Y, se cambia ahí latina y se le agrega ES. Es. Ok, pero miren, caímos en la trampa. Acá tenemos dos personas. Tenemos a Amy y tenemos a Teresa. O sea que son dos personas. No es solo una. Entonces aquí ya no es tercera persona. Amy en Teresa at for signatures Every Friday. Yo solo leí Teresa, ¿ok? <laughs> Entonces, cuando se refiere a más personas, no se usa la... No, because we are talking about two people. It's like, ¿cuál sería el pronombre para Amy y Teresa? They. Ah, they. they. Entonces, de ella no es tercera persona. Si dijese solo Amy o solo Teresa, ahí sí. Okay, Mario. Entonces, Pere. entonces solo para las terceras personas se ocupa la S. Ya, de hecho hay otras, hay otras reglas que por eso los, 
los estoy este, enviando a investigar para el día de mañana. Ay. Hay más, o sea, hay más. <risa> hay más y mañana pues nos vamos a profundizar un poquito en esto. Vaya, este, hagamos algo. Terminen, por favor, estas, estos ejercicios, por lo menos hasta acá, y nos vamos a la plataforma. En todo eso, en lo que ustedes trabajan, yo paso lista, ¿ok? Sí. Página, ahorita estamos en la página, pitch number 22. 22, all right, 22. And then you go over the platform so that you can finish the activity there also about what, he, what we have studied tonight. Bueno, ya estuve regular por... Let me see. Teacher, eh, 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 no, no, no me deja escribir allí la respuesta, pero si gusta, se lo, se lo, se lo hago llegar ahí en el chat. Ok, please, please. Listo. Carlos Josué. Carlos Josué, are you there? Denise. Edgardo Daniel. Edwin. Present teacher. Ellen Nilsson. Esperanza. Present. Evelyn Yanira. Evelyn. Fátima Michelle. Gabriela Jazmín. Henry Giovanni. Present teacher. Jennifer Guadalupe. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Beltrán. Julio César. Carla María. Present teacher. Ladies. Luis José. Present teacher. Obed Eleazar. Wendy Carolina. Present teacher. William Aristides. Jennifer Madali. Or Madali, I'm sorry. Jessica Noemi. I, I, I saw Jessica over here. Okay, I think it's all. Prense, dice, que hey, siempre apago el, 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 el audio, siempre lo apago el micrófono, perdón, dice. Uh, okay, don't worry. Okay, now, let me see. Okay, people, this is going to be a piece of cake. So va a estar facilísimo. Denise, give me one second, Denise. Okay. <clears throat> 
Okay, this is going to be a piece of a piece of cake. Okay, dictate the sentence you see there. Dictame las oraciones, por favor. Number one, night at sleep I. At night. I sleep at night. Okay, very good. I sleep at night. Good period, right? Second one. He works in the factory. Good. He works in a factory. Thank you. Number three. You go to the cinema. You go to the cinema. Okay. Number four. Portuguese doesn't she speak? She doesn't speak Portuguese. She doesn't speak Portuguese. <laughs> She doesn't speak Portuguese, all right. Thank you. Number five. We, we don't not com use computers. We don't use computers. We don't use computers. Okay, number one, I sleep at night. Number two, he works in a factory. Number three, she go to the cinema. Number four, she doesn't speak Portuguese or she doesn't speak Portuguese or, hey, what's the problem right here? Thing is the same, right? Ah, uh, the thing is that over here, you, you don't have it in the contractive form, right? Now, we don't use computers or we don't use computers or we do not use computers. So this is actually what we did tonight. Okay, thank you, Denise. Hey, felicito a Denise, que aunque ha, ha tenido dificultades, ella está interactuando con nosotros. La felicito, Denise. Okay, de eso se trata. Si nos da algún problema técnico, hay que luchar por este, tratar de, de siempre estar interactuando. Las disculpas del caso, pero pues hay cosas que nosotros no podemos pues, solventar, ¿verdad? Cuando, cuando es problema de internet o algún otro tipo de problema técnico, si, pues lo único que nosotros podemos hacer es notificarlo. Teacher. Tell me, Edwin. Este, las acabo de responder y todas me parecieron incorrectas. ¿Incorrectas? A mí también, a mí sí. también, eso me pasó. Va, le voy a decir qué es lo que puede estar sucediendo. Si usted puso minúscula aquí, se lo va a tomar malo. Si usted no le puso el punto, también se lo va a poner malo. Si okay. puso la T primero que la H, también se lo, o sea, fíjense mucho en los detallitos. Correcto. Porque, va, mire acá, si usted se fija, si el puntito, por el puntito, no se lo va a Amada. tomar bueno. O Correcto. por ejemplo, si usted puso minúscula aquí y tenía que ser mayúscula, no se lo va a tomar eh, de manera correcta, ¿ok? Pues vuélvanlo a hacer, ¿ok? Vuélvanlo a hacer y ya luego me comentan el día de mañana. Eh, bueno, no sé si tienen preguntas respecto a las actividades de mañana. No, sí. con, lo, con lo que teníamos de, del vocabulario, las 40, eso y es, la, está pendiente, o se lo enviamos pendiente, por correo. ¿no? Ah, ah, eso está pendiente, ok. 
las 40, acuérdense que son 40 moneditas que vamos a meter a nuestra alcancía, a nuestra, a nuestra alcancía, a nuestro banco de, de palabras, o sea, son 40. Entonces, si no lo han podido lograr todavía, pues todavía tienen tiempo. Eh, lo otro es que el día de mañana quiero que pues investiguen eso de la tercera persona, de los verbos, cómo, cómo se trabajan los verbos. Yo voy a buscar algunos ejercicios para que los trabajemos pues eh, mañana y, y verifiquemos cómo, cómo se trabaja eso de la tercera persona. Eh, aparte de eso, tenemos pendiente la semana típica del mejor amigo o la mejor amiga. Eso, no, eso ahí está todavía pendiente. Jennifer. Jennifer, do you have any question? Luis, do you have any question? Uh, teacher, uh, solo una pregunta, vaya. Eh, sobre, sobre lo que acaban de mencionar de lo, de, de lo del mejor amigo, ¿eso sería como una historia con tu mejor amigo o, o realmente una conversación con tu mejor amigo? O algo no. como una anécdota. Eso es la presentación de las actividades que su mejor amigo hace durante la semana. Ah, oh, ya. Yeah. Ok, o sea, si digamos eh, su mejor amigo se llama Mario, por ejemplo, que okay, usted nos va a decir quién es su mejor amigo, por qué lo considera su mejor amigo, y ya luego nos habla de las actividades cotidianas que él hace durante una semana normal. Okay. Listo. Entonces sería, entonces sería prácticamente, sería, bueno, primeramente... Eh, decir quién es mi mejor amigo y explicar el por qué ¿va? cuánto tiempo de amistad tenemos eh, X así verdad sí pero el centro el centro lo que a mí ahorita me interesa más es que, no, que nos expliquen qué es lo que esta persona hace durante la semana si va al, sí. a los conciertos si va a San Salvador o si sale de noche o pues Ustedes si sabrán de... si, si, si van a tomarse un café en, en un día específico, etc. Listo. All right, Vamos so be ready for tomorrow. It's been a pleasure for me to be all yes. here again. Yes, very let's good. Be, let's see tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye, good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, good night.